Christian Patterson had been holed up in his garage for several hours when the emergency response commander decided that Oneida County Sheriff's deputies would try to use what are referred to as less lethal rounds to subdue and disarm Patterson. Deputy Kurt Wyman had been told to be ready to taser Patterson if called upon. When officers fired the less lethal rounds into his chest, Patterson was knocked down but still held onto a shotgun. The report says Wyman then crossed in front of other deputies with his taser unit held out and ran towards the garage. The main negotiator yelled no at Wyman, but he continued going towards Patterson. Patterson then turned his shotgun towards Wyman and fired, hitting him in the neck. The report says the Oneida County Sheriff's Office needed better communication between the deputies at the scene. Even members that were aware of it were not sure what the specific plan was on what should happen when the less lethal rounds were fired. The report also says a poor chain of command and a lack of training added to problems at the standoff. Bruised egos are secondary to ensuring the most effective, efficient, and safest response possible. Today, Oneida County Sheriff Rob Maceo thanked the local police chiefs who produced the independent report and said his department has added equipment and improved training for critical incidents. I certainly can't speak for them individually, but I think as a whole, they definitely are, are open to making the improvements that need to be made, making the changes that need to be made. Wyman's father said the report had some surprises for the family, but they did not read it to assign blame. Brian Wyman said he hoped the lessons learned and recommendations from the report can help police departments locally and across the country. There's no, there's no changing, uh, there's no knowing uh, some of the things that were going through my son's uh, mind at the time, some of the decisions he made.